Guys, I'm really not a fan of like social events and social stuff in general, but this time I got called by some very special friends to a very special event, so I guess I have to go. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. The lighting is a bit weirder than general because it's lower than it usually is compared to my face, so eh. Since I am a friend of awesome people like Adis and Radosh and Harun, they called me to come to a private party. This has something to do with Jameson's Irish whiskey or something like that. It's like a private party in this cool venue that's opening up in the center of town and all, all these cool people are invited and I'm like, what, what am I doing here? But I guess with my camera and this whole video thing, I, I, I can be of benefit. But seriously, I have to show you how monstrous this whole thing looks right now. I, I need a mirror. I just realized I don't have a mirror, I have to use another camera. You know, that looks a lot fancier than it actually is, but I think it's time to go. Whoa, I almost hit the ceiling. So yeah, overall cool atmosphere and when I saw these awesome bearded guys giving away free haircuts and beard trims, I totally was not like, do whatever you want guys, your artists give me your haircuts. I, I didn't do anything to my hair. So yeah, that happened. You see? Hmm? All I'm missing is face paint of Spider-Man. But anyway, this is gonna grow back in like two or three days, so don't worry about it. I always wanted to do it and I was like, what the hell, it's not permanent anyway, so awesome. So the dilemma I had with shooting this place was that it's all completely green. Like there are green lights down on the bottom and green lights up on the top, on the balconies around. And I wasn't sure if I should balance it out with my white balance to have some kind of neutral. Like if you introduce pink into the green, it's gonna give you a neutral color to preserve skin tones and whatever. But since the whole atmosphere was green and the whole point of it was to be green, I figured I'd just leave it green the way I filmed it and put my white balance to be something something regular so that the green that was shining through the lights actually looks green, if you got what I'm saying. And I think there are a lot of situations when you're filming for clients and you have to figure out what's best between like the standard things that you learn in filmmaking and your personal artistic opinion on the matter. And with time, it's easier to find the balance between the two, especially when you make a name in the filming world or reputation. And then people value your opinion on the video and the way to produce it more than their standard observation of other videos or whatever they compare your work to. There were several locations in the space which had other dominant light like there was this incandescent type of light bulb in one of the corners where they were serving whiskey and it was it was very yellow and kind of warm especially compared to the green. So some of the pictures and videos I took there look really awesome without any kind of grading and they even got that popular teal and orange look without adding anything to it just because of the contrast of lights. And that kind of contrast is used very often in movies and other productions where you have like blue and orange or red and green contrasting lights from different sides because it gives a lot more dynamic and I guess just an interesting look. But I guess the point is you just have to be ready for weird situations, be able to adapt in a way, but not uh, stray from what makes you as an artist and what makes you unique. Well, that's it for today's short vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next week. And meanwhile, I have to figure out how to cover this 
amazing art for my very elegant choir performance that's coming up tomorrow. So uh, it's going to be fun.